Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video and today we're going to talk about and demonstrate the basic formatting options on reports. This video was recorded in March 2021 using Visual Studio 2012. So in the last video I created uh, a basic report, it was an introduction video and on screen is the report. If I choose preview, the report currently is in design mode, if I go to preview it shows me uh, my data pretty um, not very nice to look at um, so I want to format it to make it a little bit more presentable so if I go to design the first thing I want to do is make the header obviously the header um, we've got a few options we can make the header bold um, and we can do that just by highlighting the header so if I highlight the header here and we'll choose Bold. we can maybe do an underline there's all sorts of options here where we can change the font um, size and, and the font type we have options here as well if we select um, a cell that we can change it the justification um, should we decide that's what we want to do now when it comes to formatting and selecting cells um, it's it's quite easy to to click on a cell and, and maybe accidentally go into it in which case um, you need to kind of click away from it and then click it again so that instead of highlighting the, the, the actual text within it you're better off selecting the cell as a whole before you start doing your formatting now as well as these rather basic options at the top here uh, on the right hand side you should have a pane that's called properties so if I click on that if I pin it, it kind of makes it a bit easier. Um, and just for um, what you can do is you've got this pin option. So I'm going to unpin the Solution Explorer and make the properties pin uh, a little bit bigger. So now what I can do is I can change the background color. So maybe I'll highlight this and I'll change the background color. If I click on the drop down, I'm offered a range of preset colors. So I'll choose this line color um, and then I can find the this option here that is color <clears throat> is the font color so I'll click on the drop down here um, and I don't know maybe make it red you have um, this country is, is in a list A to Z of options um, so you've got other kind of uh, ways of presenting this so there's there's buttons here at the top so if I click on here this will categorize it so now what I've got is I've got um, what you can see alignment fill color font options so this is where I can change my color of my font and also I can come in here and change the same options that I had up here but I can change it here um, so you depending on what you want to do you can you can change the how these properties on the right hand side are presented so now i've got this here um I've, I've formatted my header now i'll highlight my data row um, i might make that a little bit smaller i might change the font to be where's my color maybe change it to a to a dark gray or something i don't know so there you go, I, I've, I've formatted it a little bit. Now if I go to preview, it's obvious which is the header and which is the data. So that's fine. Um, maybe now I want to um, format my dates. So I don't want to see the minutes. I just want to see the date part of my dates. So if I go back to design, if I right click the cell here, um, it brings up this text box um, properties options uh, I can copy cut and paste which is if I copy and cut and paste it's it's the data within this text box but I do have an option of choosing text box properties and within here I've then on the left hand side got an option of choosing number and I can um, I'll select date and here now I can choose a particular uh, date format and what I'll select I think is that one 
I click OK. And if I do the same here, I'll right click, text box properties, number, it's a it's a ridiculously titled um, subcategory there, number, because it's not number, it's it's anything, it's date, it's, it's uh, text, it's currency, it's, it's, it's all sorts, so numbers are ridiculous there, but anyway, I'll, I'll put here and I'll select the same format there, click OK. Now if I preview that, Um, you can see the dates are better. Um, also, because the, 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 the with the date and time, it was making each uh, row twice as wide as it needed or twice as tall as it needed to be. So that's kind of tidied up my data somewhat as well. Now I'm looking at this. The office is far too wide as a column. The ID is far too wide. So let's just deal with that. So what you've got, if you remember in the other video, um, if I right now. I've, I haven't selected anything. I've, I've just clicked on the body of my report. In fact, in the properties pane, you can see it says body. And I can change the color and such of that. But what I want to do is I want to change the size of um, the width of some of these columns. So I can click on the, the, the table generally, and I'll get these headers that we've looked at before. And I can uh, go onto the line between two columns, and I can drag it. The other option is, now bearing in mind that... that um, I've only got two rows here, but I could have more depending on how I build my table. But if I click on um, one of these cells here, one of the cells of the column that I want to um, change the width of, then on the right hand side in my properties area, I've got something called size. And in size, I've got a width element. So I'm going to change that to 1.8. And that changes the width here. And I can do the same here. So if I click on this, um, and it's got a default of 2.5, all of them should be 2.5. Now, if I change that, I want to make that 1.5. And that's made that a little bit smaller. And as I've made these columns a little bit smaller, it's now left a bit of white space here. So what I can do is I can grab the edge of my report and drag that in um, a little bit. Just to tidy the report up a little bit, and I can bring this up here at the bottom. Um, and then when I preview it, there you can see those two columns, that little bit narrower. Now, I've brought this um, this up um, to make the, the gap a little bit smaller. I brought this in for the right to make the gap a little bit smaller. There's no need really, um, in it, right now we're just previewing in, in the development environment. It's when you kind of, you actually deploy this to a, to a, a reporting services environment you view these things on a web page that's when um th these bits of white space matter because all of a sudden your report might end here but you'll have a load load of white space on the right of the report in your web page if you haven't kind of tidied things up so it doesn't really matter for now now the um headers i want to change the wording in, in the headers so if you remember we're in the previous video, I'll put a link to the previous video. We just clicked on here and selected um, a data um, element and it, and it inserted the header automatically. And because leave date, the, 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 uh, the value has a capital D and a capital L, it presumed that they are two words and it put a space in. It was all correct. However, active doesn't have a capital letter at the start. So I want to change that. Now, if I click on that and I start typing, it won't over type it. It'll add the, my text to the end of it. So that's something kind of to be mindful of. So you need to click into it and then either highlight the whole lot if you want to change it completely or use your left and right arrows to locate what you want to replace, delete it and insert whatever text you want to insert. Then if you press enter to say, right, I've done, it'll add an enter. So that's not what you want to do. So in order to kind of, you know, insert that and, and uh, leave the cell, you're going to have to use your mouse to go somewhere else and then it's put that as a capital A. Now, if we have a look at that, that looks a little bit tidier. <clears throat> now, I don't really have, I do have an ID column here with numbers, so I'm going to show you some of the formatting options of numbers. So if I right click here and choose text box properties and select number, and number as this category. Now you've got some options here. So if this is a value field showing some sort of monetary amount, 
um, you can put a thousand separator, the little comma, you can add two decimal places. And if I do that, click OK. And if I preview that, it'll now have two decimal places. But because of what this actual field is, I don't want two decimal places. So I'm going to right click textbox properties, click on number and remove those two decimal places and that should sort that out. Um, and maybe one final thing, because it's numbers it's automatically right justifying it, I want that to be left justified. So I'm just going to select that, go to preview, there they are. That's the end of this video. If you found it helpful, if you've got any comments, please leave them for me. Um, any feedback uh, is appreciated and helps me improve my content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.